Greetings Mafia. This is my annual birthday edition video, even though it's been several days since, so I'm kinda late, but better late than never, I guess. And Mafia, this one is gonna be a treat. Well, 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 so much truth came out in just a single week. The stock market is plummeting while the divorce rate is going through the roof. Everything I've been telling you all for the last four years is now coming to fruition. And if you've been following my channel, now you see the benefits. No, you don't have to thank me, all praise is due to Black Pill. Of course, this is just another hoax and a social experiment by the system, reshuffling the deck and seeing just how much of our so-called liberties can be stripped in the shortest possible time. But nonetheless, everyone, and dare I say everything, got exposed. Big time. And boy, it didn't took long, now did it? And where do I begin? First of all, don't be afraid, this is an opportunity that fell right into our lap. See, when you live black pill lifestyle, you stay ready so you don't need to get ready. We save our money, we don't live above our means, we don't get played by whammon, and we're stocking up as much gold and silver as we can, so when a shit like this happens, we know what time it is. We're gonna emerge from this in a much better shape than most other blue pillars out there, especially married ones that'll be taken to the cleaners by their wives as soon as this is over. Mafia, we can't let this opportunity go to waste. If there was an investment you could not afford, well, now you can. You're not up to your eyeballs in debt cause you ain't got bunch of ungrateful mouths to feed at home. So this situation provides a lot of opportunities for you. And all the lies are coming to light. And everyone gets exactly what they deserve. So let's break this whole thing down, brick by brick. Let me start with the big boys. Donald Trump banned all flights from Europe as he deployed 30,000 American troops to participate in some joint military exercise in, wait for it, Europe. It seems that for Donald Trump, every problem can be solved by banning. Just ban something and you'll be fine. Clearly he's be taking his cues from YouTube. The Europe isn't better either. The supposed bastion of civil liberties and multiculturalism? Well, guess what? It went straight back to Nazi Germany settings within a week, openly stating that our constitutional liberties and rights are out the window because, well, it's necessary. How many times I told you that laws and supposed civil rights the West loves bragging about ain't worth the paper they've been written on? Well, it's in our face now. See, the alt-right loves labeling its opponents with terms such as snowflake and conspiracy theorists, despite the fact that they themselves are the worst kind of snowflakes and conspiracy theorists. I became the most hated YouTuber in the alt-right community simply by calling their bullshit out. To hell with false modesty, you know, I'm gonna give myself some well-earned credit. Not only I'm the one who coined the term black pill, I'm also the first one who referred to the alt-right as the controlled opposition. These guys are nothing more than talking heads of the system, the same way lefties and SJWs are. They are two sides of the same coin, and I proudly made enemies on both sides. Only a few weeks ago, the alt-right couldn't stop talking about the Me Too and the supposed Islamization of Europe and how those evil brown-skinned muzzies are gonna rape and pillage Europe and how we all need to stand up for Christian values, the whole nine yards. Where are they now? Cause I sure as hell don't see any of them in my comment section anymore calling me angry incel or conspiracy theorist. I guess that the jihadists and other Muslim terrorists decided to take an early vacation even though this couldn't be the better time for terrorist attacks and planting bombs. No, Corona is too much even for them. And notice the parallel, the mainstream media is doing the same thing. It's all about Corona and nothing else. 
it lets you know which way the wind blows. How you think someone with no talent, no charisma, no good looks, and no common sense like Ben Shapiro or Ann Coulter could possibly get so much media space if not being chosen and prompted up by the system? The answer is simple. The corona pandemic is just as phony as Islamic threat. They've been created and promoted as different forms of distraction by the system. Turkey has over 4 million immigrants within its borders and not a single case of corona or terrorism. Now isn't that odd? In United States, there has been only 237 deaths, mostly senior citizens with chronic diseases. If we're gonna be honest about the rates, more people by far die in car accidents and suicides in the United States per week than of coronavirus. And this is an annual trend, by the way. In 2019 alone, an estimated 38,800 people lost their lives to car crashes. On average, 129 Americans died by suicide each day. More Americans die by their own hand than of any virus. The fix is in Mafia and mark my words, by July 15 it'll be all over. Now why do I say that? Tax season. It's gonna be earlier than that probably, but the deadline is on July 15. Now, there's another thing I wanna bring to your attention. Notice how all Western governments are following the same playbook, step by step. And they're all saying the same thing. It's for the common good, y'all. It's how you can tell it's all by design. Now, let's talk marriage, or better yet, it's demise by Corona. See, the real casualty of this supposed virus is none other than marriage and the illusion of conservative lifestyle. I predicted its downfall three years ago in my video called Why Conservatism Fails. You can still find it in my catalog, and though I didn't specify the cause, I made it clear this house of lies will inevitably collapse under its own weight. Boomers are now confined in house quarantine by the same system they've created and praised. Not only that, they are now dependent off of their married Gen X kids. And I know, I've been bashing boomers for some time, but don't think I'll deny my fellow Gen X the same treatment if rightfully deserved. They are now forced into codependence and mafia. I couldn't have thought of a better punishment. It's fucking beautiful. This is like watching a reality show from hell. See, most of us Gen X who got married emulated much of our baby boomer parents' behavior as a coping mechanism, which includes bullshit about family values, 2.5 kids, picket fence, and a dog. A married blue pill Gen X couldn't stop bitching about not spending enough time with his lovely wife and kids due to all the hard work and overtime he's been putting in. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? It turns out now that you got the time, you can't stand being around each other and now, all of a sudden, you wanna be a black pill. When I said in the past videos that black pill is the future, I wasn't referring to some black pill utopia, but rather a lifestyle. But let me go even deeper. The reason why most Gen X women got married is they found themselves a useful productive simp to provide and impregnate them. While the system, well, the system will do the rest. Of course, there's a whole wedding ceremony thing she's been dreaming about all of her life. But now they realize you can't turn a simp into a soldier, same way she couldn't turn from a hoe to a housewife. She thought being a housewife is buying frozen food and nuke it in the microwave, and occasionally putting some dirty clothes into laundromat and that was it. She didn't marry him because he's a leader, on the contrary, she did it because he's submissive and willing to let her impose her will. And like most women, she bought into a lie she's a Sarah Connor, a strong independent woman. Well, that lie was sustainable while the system only flexed its muscle on a man, but now she's on the receiving end. That marriage was not out of love, but out of sheer convenience for both parties, especially hers. At least at the time, now however, it became inconvenient and they're longing for a way out. And it's so much fun. 
Understand something. If this situation goes on for too long, it'll turn from a control crisis to an uncontrolled one. The system knows if it becomes too oppressive, people will start looting and displaying civil disobedience out of desperation, which leads to riots and civil wars. In other words, a spontaneous and uncontrolled rebellion. And that's exactly what the system doesn't want. Use this opportunity wisely, brothers, and remember, Black Pill is the future. If you want to support this channel, you can do so by downloading Brave Browser for free using top dollar Black Pill Gangster link you'll find in the description box, where you'll also find a link to PayPal's tip jar. This is Top Dollar, signing off.